Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to recap the final game of the Dodgers regular season, uh, game 162. Can't believe I've done every single regular season game. I don't think I missed a single game. Uh, two to one win to end the regular season. Two runs in the eighth inning uh, to win at the game. Winning run in the eighth was actually in a balk. Go figure. Um, the Dodgers offense really didn't care about this game. I mean, I don't blame them either. I wasn't. Um, Chris Taylor hit the game tying home run in the eighth, and we had that balk. So, good way to end the regular season with a sweep. And um, Dodgers. Next game will be October 5th in the start of the NLDS in game one of that series. But a good sweet 10 the season. But Chris, Chris Taylor's been hitting well lately. So maybe uh, maybe he could have a um, postseason. A hot postseason. Like he's getting hot, hot right now. He's he, kind of heating up at the right time. Maybe he could get some playing time in the playoffs. Just out of all the ways to win the game on a balk. Like the pitcher, I guess he just lost his balance or something. I don't know. That could have been just an intentional balk. Just so Otani didn't try to steal 60. <laughs> um, but yeah, good, good win. Uh, we used another bullpen game. Or another bullpen uh, guys the starter for today with Anthony Banda um, one inning no hits for Nardon Fox no strikeouts laying the night got bulk innings pitched four innings he pitched pretty solid pretty solid four innings five hits one earned run no walks four strikeouts so a good uh, end to the season for Landon Knack ends the regular season with a 3.74 earned run average then Alex Vesia, we use some of our high leverage guys, probably just to have them pitch so they don't get that rusty. Alex Vesia went one inning, one hit, no one runs, one walk, two strikeouts. Then Phelps coming from one inning, no hits, no one runs, one walks, two strikeouts. He's pitched really well lately, which is a good sign. Michael Kopech then goes one inning, no hits, no one runs, no one walks, two strikeouts. Boots been excellent since getting traded here. And uh, Edgardo Henriquez, one inning, no hits, no one runs, one walk, and two strikeouts. So the bullpen... Technically, obviously pitched all nine innings. Only gave up one run, and that was in the second inning. Besides that, the pitching was pretty good. The bullpen, great. So, over the lineup here, uh, Shohei Otani's one for four. Didn't win the batting title, but eh, it's whatever. I mean, doesn't really matter too much. Uh, Mookie Bates is over to James Altman, uh, I believe, pinch hit today. Uh, he was called back up. I don't know if he'll be on the roster. Probably just because Robleski has no point of being on the roster for the last day, saving arm for the postseason. Um, Teoscar was 2 for 4, Muncy and Edmund 0 for 4. Hopefully, Edmund uh, hits better in the playoffs because he's kind of went cold lately. KK 0 for 4, Chris Taylor 1 for 2 and a walk, 1 RBI. Paul is 0 for 3, and Austin Barnes 1 for 3 and a run score. Dodgers uh, get to 90 to 64 in the regular season. They had five targets for two runs. They scored their two runs in that eighth inning. They really didn't try until the eighth inning. So a good start, to, a good way to end the regular season with a sweep. Good run, good two runs there to win it. So they beat the National Series one. Next up will be the National League Division Series, and finish with the best record, 98 and 64. I'm just really excited for the postseason. I'm scared, but I'm excited. Also, um, for the Rockies, um, and they end up with a, one of the worst, one of one of the worst records this year um, for the Rockies, 61 and 101 in the year. Their starter today was um, Ryan Feltner. Went was really good, I thought. Six innings, two hits, no earned runs, two walks, three strikeouts. All these things to wake your lineup. Dodgers not really playing their full lineup. But he pitched really well. Six scoreless innings, but the bullpen uh, choked. Peralta went one inning, no hits, no runs, no one, uh, no hits, no runs, no walks, one strikeout. Victor uh, Vodnik then goes uh, point one innings, three hits, two earned runs, no walks, no strikeouts. Seth Hell uh, Vorson, who gave up that lead, that um, pretty much that winning balk. Um, 1.2 innings, no hits, no runs, no walks, three strikeouts in their offense. Blackman, one for two. They took him out. He got his last hit. Congratulations to 
him on a great career, man. Charlie Blackman had a great career, especially against NL West opponents. The Dodgers and the Padres in, in a specific. Uh, Tovar uh, was 0 for 4. McMahon 0 for 4. Toglia 1 for 4. Jones 1 for 3 to walk. Hilliard 1 for 3 in R a walk in an RBI. Cave 1 for 4. Schnutt 0 for 4. And Romo 0 for um, 1 for 3. Rockies dropped 61-101 to end their season. Another another bad uh, season for the Rockies. They just... they Hopefully they retire Charlie Blackman's number, but... Another bad season. 2023-2024 uh,100 loss seasons back-to-back. -back. They just haven't been good these last two years. They're just not a good baseball team. They couldn't even get Charlie Blackman to send off for him. Wish Charlie the best in retirement. It definitely, it's definitely be weird playing the Rocks without him in the lineup. Uh, twelve, they had twelve total strikeouts. Um, with uh, twelve total strikeouts, back to back hundred loss seasons. Rocky, oof. yeah. A um, few days off, and then the Dodgers uh, will take the field again uh, for the NLDS October fifth. So I'll see you guys then for the Dodgers. But that's all to say. Until next time, back up. Peace, and I believe Monday night I'll do my uh, MLB playoff picks. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace, and I'll be back for the Astros Guardians recap in a little bit. And then the NASCAR race. So, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Peace.